Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. My makeup is half done but I just interrupted filming this makeup look because I wanted to try this new primer from Kaya Cosmetics. I always do this separate video for my primers because uh, maybe you don't want to you just are interested in this product. This is new product from Kaya Cosmetics, the perfect primer. And this one is from Combination and Oily Skin. They have two, they have one that is more suitable for dry normal skin and they have this one that is more for oily combination skin, which is mine. So. I'm going to open this and this is like a gel primer. It looks amazing, I haven't opened it yet so I'm opening it here in front of you guys and I love Kaz Cosmetics primer, primers or oh, products not primers I haven't tried this the primer, primers now you get the spatula and you get this job you can see it's beautiful it kind of reminds me of the NYX uh, primer that I haven't tried but I really want to try it says here this is the perfect primer for oily and combination skin it weightless water infused formula leaves a natural and smooth feeling on the skin. Apply the perfect primer after your day cream and before you make up for a silky and an optical smoothing effect. When applied to the skin, a matte finish is immediately not notable. So let's try that. I'm going to clean my hands and I do have some fall out from the eyeshadows but that doesn't bother me. I already moisturized my skin with this cream and I also went on top and with this oil from Huda Beauty or Wishful. So let's go in and open this primer. Oh it's blue! <laughs> oh my god! It has a nice fresh scent to it. It smells nice. It really smells nice. So I'm going to go in with the spatula and I, I'm actually going to take a little bit from the cap because there is a lot of prime product on it. I don't know how much you should use but let's see if we can figure it out. Mm, it feels so cold, it's fresh. It feels like you put a moisturizer on the face. Oh, I definitely applied a little bit too much. Oh, it feels so nice on the skin almost like having a cooling effect. It feels like it's mo it's moisturizing my skin. Oh, I love how it feels. But it feels also like a gripping primer. I don't know if you can see it. It's, you can see it here. I like that. I like when my um, primer makes my skin a little bit tacky because then I know it's going to, going to grip that. Uh, I don't know if it, now you can see this, the light reflecting on my skin, but I'm having a little bit problems with breakout because I was eating a little bit too much sugar during the days off. But definitely going to grip for the um, foundation. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my makeup. I'm going to actually use the Rebecca Stella foundation. It's one of my new favorite foundations. I love it. So I'm going to go in with that one. With the Beauty Blender I'm going to finish my makeup look and I'll be back to tell you how everything went on on top of this primer. Now it's 10 past 1 p.m. and I'm going to do rest of my makeup and I'll do um, come at the end and tell you how it looks, how everything went on. It feels very nice. It feels very nice on the skin. Now it's not as sticky as it was in the beginning but I'm going to go, go and I'll be back. I don't like my hair today so I'm going to set it up because it looks like a mess and need to wash it. It looks terrible. But just finished filming this makeup look and I am going to talk about this primer. Now, I the foundation that I use is the Rebecca Stella foundation. I reviewed it for a couple of, uh, it actually like a couple of days ago on my channel, but I've tried it I've used it a couple of days and I really like this foundation. It's my new favorite. I've used it under different primers. I love it. So I thought that I would give it a chance on top of this because I wanted to see. This is more like luminous foundation, but I want it to look more matte and keep me more matte. Now, it went on like butter on top of this primer. It looked beautiful, though there is a problem. My nose. I don't know if you can see 
how it looks. Doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It looks it looked good in the beginning, then I applied the powder, looked good. I went in with the bronzer and something happened. It felt like it my foundation is moving. Uh, it felt like it just don't want to stick there. I don't know if it has to do that I use this oil before this primer or could it be that this primer doesn't really work for my skin. I don't know, people love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, um, of course, with my day, can continue wearing this makeup. I did, did set my face with this setting spray. I'm going to go on with my day. And then guys, I am going to like, uh, try it tomorrow too. I'm going not. I'm going to film that like fast, or not film that at all. We'll see if I have. But I'm going to do an outro tomorrow when I come back. Come back from work because I want to try this uh, with a foundation that I know is beautiful uh, with other foundation. But also, I'm not going to use this uh, oil in the morning. So maybe that will make my nose look better because everything else looks beautiful except my nose. It looks terrible in the close up. So I don't know if it's the prime what it is, but it went on smoothly. I really like it. I really like how rest of my makeup look looks. I really like how it smoothed everything. I really like how it mattified my skin, but I just need to find out why this nose is as it is. So we'll see. I'm going to uh, try it again before I do the end intro or outro, but I am going to, of course, uh, come back at the end of this day and tell you how the rest of my makeup looks, so rest of my face, so see you soon. Okay guys, hi, welcome back. It's actually 8 p.m. and I'm going to remove my glasses and let's see how my face looks, okay? Let's discuss the primer. Now, you're very zoomed in because we are going to reveal the truth. Try this primer for, what could be this, seven, eight hours? So let's see. It looks like I just applied my makeup. It looks amazing. Now, the nose looks better. Nose looks much, much better. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see, it is gone here, but it's not perfect, but it looks much better. And I think it has to do with, Maybe the oil under the face, I don't, I don't know, but probably, but everything else looks good. I am going to exfoliate my skin tonight and I'm going to uh, tomorrow not apply the oil and I'm going to exfoliate, yes, and I'm going to try the primer again, but eight hours and looking, I do look shiny, but I feel like I'd look not too oily, but that natural glow from inside definitely could be better, but I just think it's, it kept my makeup on really nice it feels like i just applied my makeup but put a lot of hydrating spray or something everything looks so perfect for eight hours that's amazing really amazing sorry guys just taking a paper and see if we can take off the oil excess let's do that of course the, it transfers so let me show you of course it's not but it looks like I just apply my makeup that this is amazing I'm loving 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 this um, this primer so far so good really nice so I'll see I'll continue wearing this tomorrow too I'll try it and do another end video I am going to, I don't know if I'm going to have time to show you in the morning when I apply, probably I will remember that. I already prepared everything for filming in the morning, but hopefully I remember to press the button to, so it starts recording. But I really like how my makeup looks. I'm so far really happy with the primer. So I am going to go and take this off because I'm really tired and I'm starting to work tomorrow after a long couple of weeks of not working at all. So I'm excited i like how it looks so far so see you in the morning
Hi guys, welcome back. Now, I just came home from work. I'm going to take off my glasses and this is how I look, very oily. <laughs> I wore this the second day and let's just say that my foundation went on much, much better this morning. It looked more, much better on my nose. So I think it could be something that with that oil that I had yesterday under it. Now, my foundation I've worn off here is because I had glasses, big my computer glasses that I have, and that's why it went off. But I ha can say, oh my God, I look, look very early. I used the Physician's Formula Foundation, and that's one, that one is more like a um, healthy glow foundation, so it definitely makes me more oily than the usual matte foundations. So I'll definitely use more matte foundation. I do like the primer. I'm very, I, I'm very impressed. I think it's very good primer. Uh, of course, I'm going to experiment and see how it's going to work on other fun, fun, with other foundations. But so far, I'm really liking how it looks. Yes, my foundation have worn off here and around my mouth is because I've been touching my mouth all the time and um, touching my face, which I maybe, which I maybe should not, but I did. I'm kind of very tired today, but otherwise it, uh, it's not bad. I do like this. I think my foundation was much better yesterday when I had the more matte foundation than today where I have more luminous foundation. So uh, I can say that works better, though the nose looks much better. So I will stay away from the face oil before I apply this, this uh, primer, but otherwise, yeah, it looks good. Okay, hi family, welcome back. Now, I really tested this uh, primer now for three, day three days, yes, three days. And today I did, uh, you could see the clip where I tried it together with this Catrice foundation that I just love. And right now it's almost 5 p.m. And I can see I've been wearing it since seven this morning. And what can it be? So around almost 10 hours and I didn't touch up at all. And this is how it looks. I look shiny. I don't look greasy. Oh, sorry for my light. It, it's kind of weird. I, don't call, I look more yellow than I am. Let me take off my glasses. Um, I look shiny, but my foundation looks perfect. It hasn't smudged. It hasn't moved. And I really, really like this, uh, this concealer, uh, con not concealer, this primer. Really like the Kaya primer, Kaya Cosmetics primer, and this is for combination oily skin. Now, this is a matte foundation. Like I said, I think it was yesterday when I finished yesterday's uh, test with the luminous foundation. Is that this works? Uh, the primer works better with the mattifying foundations. Think it's a very very nice primer. Really think it's a very nice primer. Though I feel like I need a more pore filling uh, primer for my pore because my pores are huge. You can see them. There is nothing that kind of, you know, covers them and make them less visible. So this is more for oil control. It's a nice primer. I feel like it kind of works as good as my other mattifying primers, but I, I like it. I think it's a good primer. I think it's worth trying and I'm glad, happy I'm, I bought it. I'm definitely continue using it. Now I tried it with three foundations I really like and all three work a little bit better. These that are more mattifying than the luminous one, but 
think it's how it works with, so, with all foundations. But guys, that was everything. Really tried out this, this primer to max. Uh, let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I hope you like this video. Give a thumbs up and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.